Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to tag test cases in Robot Framework Test Automation. Tagging test cases. In Robot Framework Test Automation, tags are used for classifying test cases. When we use tags, tags are shown in test report logs and in the test data. Statistics about test cases are collected based on tags. For example, in the test report, we have total tests, total past tests, and failed tests. When we tag test cases, the statistics about test cases are collected based on tags. So, test cases with the same tag appear in one place in the test report. With tags, you can include or exclude test cases to be executed. With tags, you can specify which test cases are considered critical. Let's see some example. We can tag test cases based on test type. For example, we tag test cases as smoke test, regression test, feature test, stress test, performance test, and custom test. When we have many test cases, if we want to run only the smoke test, in the command line prompt, we just include the tag with smoke test. In the command line, robot framework will execute the test cases tagged with smoke test tag. And we can also tag test cases based on test readiness. We can tag a test case as ready, not ready, or outdated. So tagging test cases are very useful for classifying test cases and for better organization. Let's use the Mahara test project for the example. In the Mahara test project, as explained in other video tutorials, we have a login test suite. Let's add another folder and add few test cases. Let's say new directory. For the new directory, we name it Tag testes. Click on OK. So now new folder appeared. In the new folder, let's add a new test suite. New suite. Let's say tag underscore suite. And for the type, we use file and format we select txt click on ok so we save it let's add few test cases new test case let's name it test case 1 another test case let's name it test Case 2. New test case. Let's add test case 3. Click on OK. So 
So for test case one, let's just add a simple line. Let's say we log a message. So this is test one. And log test one is over. So for test case two, let's add a line keyword log. This is test two and log test two is over. We save it. Now test case three log. This is test three. And add another log. Test three is over. Now let's mark the test case one. For the tag is we add ready. Ready and save it and test case number two let's say not ready test case three we add ready so under the tag suite we have test case one tagged with ready Test case two, tagged with not ready. Test case three, tagged with ready. Now let's run only the test cases that are tagged with ready. So on the tag suite, we click on the run tab and check on the only run tests with these tags. So for this command, let's just put ready. And we save it. So with this tag, the robot framework should execute test case one and test case three. So we click on start. So two test cases are executed and marked with green. So the test case two is skipped. And in the test log, we look at the report. This is the test one and test one is over. This is test three and test three is over. Now let's look at the log. Click on the log. So this test suite is uh, tags, tests, and tag suite. So in the test report, test case one and test case three are displayed. Because test case one and test case three are tagged with ready. And we can also look at the report. In the report, let's click on the tags tab and select tag. So when we have a lot of test cases, when we run all the test tests, we can always check certain test cases with the tag. So select tag, let's say ready, and we have test case one and test case three. Now let's close the report and let's try run test case 2 because test case 2 is target not ready. So in the run command we can check not ready. Now save it. Now we 
run the script start so test case 2 has been run and the test passed and only the test test case 2 is executed for each test case we can assign multiple tags let's say test case 1 we mark it as smoke test and test case 2 we marked as regression test test case 3 we mark it as feature test so each test case is each test case is tagged with multiple tags now let's run only the test that's tagged with smoke test so click on the run tab We can check smoke test. This should execute only test case one. We save the project and click on start. So as you see on the left column, only test case one is executed. As explained in this video tutorial, you can classify test cases by using tag and tagging test cases are very important to better organize your test cases for future update upgrade or other actions thanks for watching for more examples please visit www selenium master.com